An executive dismissal at Google Cloud after a bizarre 10,000 word manifesto posted to LinkedIn. CNBC.com tech reporter Jennifer Elias joins us with the details. And essentially, Jen, this is exposing more cracks in Google's culture. Walk us through your reporting on this one. Yeah, thanks, Steve. So we had heard um, this week that there was a contentious all hands meeting um, with Google employees specifically in the developer relations group of the organization for Google Cloud. And that's the group that works externally and internally with engineers and developers who are working both within Google and working with Google products. Um, so this was to be problematic. What happened was the VP of uh, Google Cloud developer relations had posted this lengthy manifesto, uh, sort of attempting to denounce anti-Semitism but sharing a lot of personal anecdotes and um, kind of doing so bizarrely, sharing his DNA results. And uh, he posted this on LinkedIn a month ago um, and employees have sort of been concerned about why he was allowed to post this. You know, they have very strict rules about what they're allowed to post and get reprimanded for it, they tell me. Um, and so they brought this up to the all hands meeting they had this week. Um, and it turned out pretty contentious. Um, they told me uh, there were, there were sort of months of concern around his leadership and leadership attrition around him. And then this manifesto, which he you know, pushed on LinkedIn under his Google title, and then also pushed on Twitter and YouTube, uh, really made them very uncomfortable and they felt like their concerns weren't being heard. Um, HR had to uh, step in a couple times during this meeting this week. And that was the day before um, Google had let him go. Bizarre situation here. It seems like a good rule of thumb for people just to not post 10,000 word manifestos um, under their corporate umbrella. But I have to wonder here if there's a sense that there is a cultural issue about the way Google handled this or if this is really just a weird one off situation. Yeah, well, so it's a strange story for Google, but Google itself has a history of, you know, employees kind of going rogue and, and circulating these long manifestos. And there is, a, I think, a cultural tie to the fact that um, there seems to be a, a broadening uh, separation between the rank and file and the executive leadership and how they're treated maybe a bit different. Whereas in the founders era, um, you know, several years ago, uh, people felt like they could sort of have equal power. They could speak freely. And, you know, in the last couple of years, they've been reining back some of you know, what the, what employees and what exe executives are allowed to say on internal channels, let alone externally. So, um, I mean, I think there's questions around the fact that why they took action a month after this is posted, um, because some of the mm -hmm. people that I talked to said that it's been affecting their, their jobs and what they can do externally. Um, and so you, you have to wonder a little bit about the delay. And, and you know, he's not the first one to to post some questionable comments about um, anti-Semitism. And, and, you know, they just had a diversity leader. They had a switch over a month ago who left the team because of some past comments he said. Um, and yeah, so there's a lot of question around, around how they handle this um, and who they have, you know, leading their diversity efforts.